Hello, my name's Mel, welcome to my world, and for those of you that are new to my channel, I'm currently turning this Mercedes Sprinter into an off-grid, go anywhere, sleep anywhere, sort of stealthy, camper van. And today I want to show you how I come to have this table in my van. Now this is no ordinary table, this table actually comes from my very, very first old VW air-cooled Type 2 Westphalia camper van that was built in 1973, which means this table is 47 years old. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> So this is my old table, I've had this table for, I don't know, since the beginning of time. This table came out of my very, very first air-cooled VW um, camper, it was a Westphalia. And I had that thing for well over a decade. And when I eventually sold it, when I did part with it, I forgot to give the new owner the table. So I've had this table kicking around ever since. And uh, yeah, it's been through the mill a bit. Some bits and pieces have been stolen off it, or taken off it. Screws have been taken out of it to repair other tables because I used to buy and sell old Volkswagen camper vans. So, uh, but this one, this table, for some reason, has managed to stick around. It's never gone anywhere. Uh, probably because I took them bits off of it. So I've had a rummage around in my old box back in my lockup, and I've found enough parts to try and put this back together and rebuild it and I'm going to use it in my van. Now I know it looks like a pretty manky old table to most people but for me I've got an attachment with it if that makes sense. It's like it's a part of me, it's been kicking around all these years. Um, a friend of mine even had a fish tank on this for about five years I think. <laughs> she had a fish tank sitting on it on top of an old uh, sewing machine base as an ornamental thing in her flat and uh, yeah when she got rid of the fish tank I got my table back <laughs> so these hinges were really badly seized up I didn't film myself freeing these up in case they broke because I thought if one of these hinges snap then that's it it's game over because there's no way I'm going to be able to replace these but I've managed to free them up and uh, yeah I'm really pleased with that look so uh, yeah I think we can restore this now these tables are really clever how they work there's another reason i want to keep this table because of these hinges these hinges are double um I use this one to demonstrate as you see it goes like that then it goes again which allows the other part of the table to lay flat on here and demonstrate so that will go on there like that so you can use this table as small as that and it goes on, the, the, that's the base, as you can see there's bits missing, but I have managed to salvage some bits. I was really lucky actually, I took me ages. It, it's literally taken me all day yesterday to find the bits for this. Yeah, I've got a lot of junk in my workshop, in my lockup, rather. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Let's put this back together and see if I can use it in my van. Quite excited. So what I need it to do, first thing I need to do is make sure I've got the screws for it because all the hardware drops as we know are shut because of this um, lockdown. And I managed to find some of these. These are left over from when I fitted my wood burner when I made the backing for those, for that. Luckily I bought some countersunk screws. It just so happens these are the right size. But they fit in the hinges anyway, they're countersunk. Checked them, they do fit just about. Look, like, you see how that right lays flat. That's important. They are a little bit too big. I think these should only be about um, four mil, but these are five. The only, the only thing is the, the the hardware that goes underneath, which are these things here. It's got to fit through there, and it doesn't because it's a little bit bigger. But nevertheless, I can make these holes a little bit bigger. The holes in the other side are the right size. They actually fit through. So all I've got to do is increase the size of these holes, then I can put it all back together. <laughs> I'm really, really pleased. It's literally, it has taken me probably a day and a half, because I don't know what the time is now. I haven't put my watch on yet. Um, yeah, I can't emphasize how pleased I am. I've managed to find all the bits to put this back together. So I'm going to put this all back together, but before I put it back together, I think it'd be a good idea to see if the base that I've got fit, will fit it. So I 
still don't know if the base, the swivel base, will actually fit because it's, it's modern. So yeah, I think that's what I should do next. Put this away. Because the base has to fit in here. I'll show you what, actually. Yeah, I'll show you why, because there's a, a thing. <laughs> so this slider, this is goes underneath. So when you open the table up, this slides out and it supports the other part of the table. So hopefully the base I've brought will fit in that gap. Has anyone let to find that out? Oh, quite the... There we go. So that base. Yeah. That base is definitely going to fit in there like that. Look at that. <laughs> so now I've got all the bits I need to restore this table. Right. So without further ado. Right, so let's put this back together. Oh, I'm so pleased I found these bits, I really am. I know, I know it looks like a crappy old table, but like I say, it means a lot to me. At the end of the day. Now these are a little bit long, but once I've assembled it, I'll just cut them off. There you go, I've managed to put it back together. I do need to cut these bolts down, but I can do that later. I'll get an angle grinder and kind of slice them off. So this is how the table works. When it's up that way, it's a small table, really useful. But then if you want a bigger table, you simply slide this part out. This comes out, this flops over, boom, you've got a big table. <laughs> Brilliant, I'm so pleased I managed to restore this. All I've got to do now is fit it in the van. Oh, I need to put the base on it first too. So for my table leg, I'm going to be using a swing out leg like this and it can swing out, it attaches to the side of my bench and it's movable. And then this base bit here that goes on the bottom of the table, it simply pops into there like that. So the table can then swivel as well. So it gives you quite a bit of um, adjustment. It's good enough for this van. I mean, I know there's flasher ones on the market, a lot better than this, but this is certainly the one of the most cheapest, and I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can buy one of these. Now I need to assemble this. This has got a clamp that goes on here, and it's, it's like a, a cam lock clamp, and I'll show you what it is. I'll just try and... So this all comes in the kit. Don't know if I can do this on camera, I'll try. So you get your main, and it works on a cam, I you can see that. So what we need to do, the first thing we need is slide this washer. You can see it's got like a black rubber washer. That goes on there, that way, like that. Then you put that into there like that. Then your locking nut, this nut's got like a locking bit of rubber on the back of it. That's pretty much it really. I'll do this up so you can see how it works. So it goes like that. I'll bring it in close. So as you pull this down, it just closes that in a bit and it pinches on the leg. Simple and effective. Right. So like I say, all I've got to do is connect that to the table. And in the kit, they can supply you with the screws, which I've got in my pocket. So I'm going to put that like that, or like that. And we're going like that. Put that in now. That's it, that's my table done. Simple as that. So now that will go on top of my leg. Right, so let's get in the van and put this all together. So here we are back inside the van 
these are two components there's a base that this pole goes into i've raised that slightly because it was quite low i mean my bench is quite high i should say so i had to I'd raise that a little bit just so my knees can fit under the table and then this part here this is the locking mechanism and it holds the top if i slide that off of there and show you that simply just slides in there like that over the base there you go now these screws aren't the right screws really i'll need some of those with a domed head that go that way rather than count sunk screws i will change those when the shops reopen right so uh this is lockable you could do this up to stop it moving around in whatever position you like so let's put my table on in and see what it looks like Well, there you go it fits in that corner absolutely perfect i mean i couldn't have got that better if i tried i don't think that's really cool i like that now i know this table's a bit old it's a bit old-fashioned it doesn't really go with the rest of the van but for me it's a bit of personal memorabilia and uh it is like it's probably 40 odd years old this table and i've had it about 15 of those so uh yeah it's a bit grotty um but i love it all the same now let's see how it fits I guess the proof is in the pudding, right? Does it does it work? So I'll slide this out, pull that out, open it up. There you go. Have a look at that. Absolutely perfect. And that's a, yeah, it's the right height as well. I think that's all right. That I like that. Just do that up. I think that'll be all right. that shut that's good enough that's sturdy enough i think so all that's left for me to do now is have a cup of tea and a biscuit so if you like this video please do give me the thumbs up and don't forget if you are new to my channel please do consider subscribing and by subscribing to my channel you help me save the local wildlife because i've got two cats and they're hungry thanks for watching ta for now